Hello, this is Jack from Historical Archery, and today I present to you the cheapest longbow that's 100 pounds of 2022. So I can't find a bow that's actually cheaper than this, that is a longbow, and that is 100 pounds. But it's not made of wood, it's made of fiberglass, which I, in, in my opinion is actually better uh, for the kind of price point. You're not trying to be uh, historical. So if you get something even more durable than wood, well, there you go. Uh, theoretically, fiberglass is a lot more reliable than wood. I don't know about the quality of this fiberglass though, so we're gonna test it out and see. It's a very hefty piece of fiberglass though. So it's very heavy, it's gonna have some, it's gonna have some hand shock, you're gonna feel it. But it's fiberglass, so this thing is kinda indestructible if it's made properly. We don't know about the quality of the fiberglass, so we'll see. I'm excited to see. Um, it says the brand is Zhigao Li, which is uh, not too sure what that means. Uh, it's a Chinese brand. Um, but on eBay, they sell them in a bunch of sellers. Everyone has their own name. Um, so it depends on who you buy it from. There's going to be a different name. But you'll probably find this. It says probably like from 30 pounds to 100 pounds. Um, some of them you'll see is takedown. But I bought the 100 pound one. And of course I bought the 100 pound one. The 100 pound one is not a takedown, which is actually a good thing if you think about it. I'd rather not have a takedown for this kind of weight because those mechan those the part that's weakest, I'd say, is a takedown take mechanism. I'd rather not have a takedown for 100 pounds. For a 50 pound longbow that's, uh, you know, like this, yeah, I wouldn't mind. I, it would be nice to have a takedown. But when it's 100 pounds, I wouldn't trust the takedown mechanism on these cheaply made bows. So it's, uh, it's nice that they, they went with just a solid piece of fiberglass. So for 120 US dollars, it's actually cheaper for you to buy fiberglass rod, a fiberglass rod of this dimension, and then to make it into a bow yourself. You're gonna save money, but it takes time. Um, so if you factor in, factor in labor, and if you have no experience making bows, well, this is still probably cheaper, um, depending on how, how skilled you are making bows. Um, or if you're just lazy, you just want to click a button online and then get a bow shipped in your door, there you go. You have to factor in labor, and fiberglass dust is not nice to breathe in. It's not something you want to be in, uh, keep in the house. Another thing to keep in mind, I've made fiberglass bows myself with angle grinder. When you grind this kind of thing, it, 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 you're going to have that dust all over and if it, you breathe it in your mouth, it is not fun. So there's a few colors. Um, I chose black because it's the closest thing to a historical color. Um, the gold color is not historical. The green one is, just reminds you of those classic jet fiberglass bows. This, when it's black, when it's far away, Maybe it's a wood bow, you're not sure until you look closer. I mean, there is wood that is black. Um, all the other colors don't look natural. So one thing I, you have to note with this bow, I can't find where the arrow pass is. Although there is the logo right here, which is a piece of tape. Um, but if I look at the balancing point, this is my balancing point. So I should hold the bow almost here, almost at the balance point. I'll maybe shift a little bit down, roughly here. So. Uh, I'd put the arrow pass right here. Is there's my arrow pass, and this is just painter's tape, very cheap. It's a cheap bow. I'm not gonna try to try to sew a piece of leather on it. <laughs> it doesn't matter. It's a fiberglass bow. There you go. I put some painter's tape. There's my arrow pass. Um, so it wears all the tape instead of uh, um, their 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 vinyl. Their vinyl you can wear out as well, of course, if you want, or sew a piece of leather. But there you go. Piece of painter's tape fits perfectly on these kind of bows. Um, also, here's the tip. You can see, obviously, because it's fiberglass, you don't need to have a horn tip on it. Um, so it's just a groove cut in, as you can see. So let's test the draw weight. <clears throat> Was it? <clears throat> wow. <sighs> Hand shock is high, just keep that in mind. So for speed shooting, I don't need to pull it to 30 inches, uh, pulling 27 or 28 inches and that's good enough and it packs a punch. And uh, accuracy is okay, it's meh, it's for speed shooting, I'm not going to complain too much. <laughs> like
like on a laminate bowl of 100 pounds, you know, I have to baby it, but this, I don't care. If it breaks, it breaks, but it hasn't broken yet. It just works. And you can do thumb draw, Slavic, whatever you want, it works. So. So what do I think about this bow? For a workout bow to practice, you know, 100 pounds, I think this is actually really good. Um, it's just that it has a lot of hand shock. Um, so it, I can't shoot as accurately. Hopefully yours is just as durable as mine, but you know, these things come from eBay, so their quality is not always guaranteed. I recommend getting it from a reputable distributor if you can, um, if not, um, you know, this is really something you are taking a bet on online. Um, so keep that in mind. Thank you very much. I hope uh, you enjoyed this video.